All humans have mass, so when you put them in motion, you get momentum. Momentum depends on how much mass is moving and at what speed. In this example, I have a running start, which gives me more momentum. In the next example, I'm standing still, so I have less momentum. In example one, having more momentum makes it easier to complete movement smoothly. I have a running start, so I'm moving faster. Momentum the variables are how much mass and how fast it is moving. In both examples, there is the same amount of mass, so the only thing changing is my speed. When I had a running start, it put a flow on the movements and gave me enough speed and a burst of fluid energy so I could continue into a leap. Overall, in example one, I have more momentum and it is smoother. What goes up? must come back down, so when I jump, gravity pulls me back down to the ground. In dance, gravity is a common force. Leaps and jumps are constantly completed in dance. Gravity is what grounds them and makes the dancer come back down. Isaac Newton said, an object in motion will stay in motion, and an object at rest will stay at rest until either are acted upon by an outside force. She keeps moving until friction brings her to a stop. You will keep moving until you are acted upon by another force, which is friction in this example. It may not seem like friction is stopping her because she is continuously pushing off with her foot, but it is one of the forces in this example. In dance, the dancer will also have to control themselves and make themselves stop on their own. This is another type of force that applies to this example. In this example, the dancer is standing still. She still stops when friction makes her, but she isn't using another foot to push her off again to keep her going. You can see that in this example, the dancer stopped herself on purpose to get to the spot she wanted. How easy it will be for these dancers to lift up the other girls will depend on how much force they are putting in and how much mass the girls on the floor have. For example, say the girl on the floor was heavier than the girl pulling her up. The girl pulling her up will need to put in more force than she would with someone lighter than her. There is always a lot of walking in dance. Every time you push off the floor, it will push back with an equal and opposite force, so your foot will push up and you will continue walking. They are called pair forces because each of the objects interacting have their own force. The forces are in the opposite direction of each other, so when you push down on the floor with your foot, the floor will push back up. Whether it be running, standing up off the floor, jumping, for tapping the floor, you're using this law of motion.